Hello everybody, it's me, the Canadian Mickey Mouse. Ha ha ha! I have some toys I want to show off. Yes sirree, some toys. And I waited and waited for Sing to do his live stream with some toys for sale. Because I'm a nice guy, I wait and wait and wait. Let's take a look. Even for a real treat. This Saturday, as you might know, I went to an event locally. And it was a charity event. And there was toys and I bought some stuff. Ha ha ha. It was a fun day. I went ha 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 for like four hours. For the whole day. And I even did my gosh and a oh, yuck. Oh, oh, oh. You know, my goofy voice. Gosh, for four hours I was there, I was. And there was people, that's right, people, like me, were there. They were dressing up in Disney and some Star Wars. Gosh, all the way from the Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack Skeleton, to Lord Vader of the Sith. Oh, yuck. Well, I'll show you the stuff that I bought for me, or traded, because some of the stuff I traded for. Oh, yuck. Look at this. It's Raja or Raj. Raj. It's from Disney's 90 movies. Uh, Aladdin. Yep, it moves its head. It can move its tail. Wee! Like a helicopter. A yuck. A helicopter. That's all it does. It's like the original He Man sort of thing with um, Battle Cat. It really does remind me of it. That sort of style. The tail, the body that don't move. Pretty cool stuff. I paid only one dollar. One dollar. And that one dollar went to charity. <laughs> it went to charity. Gosh. But do I really need another one? I have like six, seven more. Yeah, I did. It was there. Now for a dollar, and for a dollar, that means it was dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. And I'm all about dirt cheap. Or free. If I can get it for free, goalie. But I do have something that I did get for free. But that's a special guest. So I got some motive. Hello, Migs. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, Migs? Long time no see. I hope you and the family are doing okie dokie, eh? And I also got some He-Man Motu parts. That's right. Motu. Beast Man. I really need a beast. I also need the beast's body armor thing. I know where to get one locally, but he's sort of... It can be pricey locally. I also got his legs. See one leg? I did really need a beast me, not in my collection, but I'm very happy what my 3D sculpt of the Beauty and the Beast's beast head that I did. So I really want to 3D print the head and I can't really pop this off. Oh, this is the soft head. Squish, squish. It's squishy. So I can actually pop that off, but with my custom He-Man stuff, I actually ripped apart. Oh, I don't have it with me. Buzz off. Vintage buzz off. I made a big fucking hole right there. I broke the pair of pliers to get the measurements I needed for the neck. You know, for that, for the outer and inner neck joint. So, I made a template for all my heads. And hopefully I'll print exactly like it. But I'll have to redesign another copy. So, you know, you don't have to break open, you know, body to actually use my custom head that I built and sculpted. So, uh, maybe I can, you know, remake the innards somehow. I don't know. It'll take some thinking. Or you'll have to reprint a new body, the whole thing. I don't really want to 3D print for customs. You know, the entire body. Just the head, the arms, legs. And some new accessories I'll be sculpting away at. But good idea. Just so I can have it. So if I 3D print my Beauty and the Beast Beast's head. I could 
pop this off and well I don't want to drill a hole and ruin this this looks too nice to ruin and actually I think I prefer beast man without the fake fur hmm pretty good what the beast man oh is it what the duck beast I don't know I can't fucking see without my glasses nope just solid black eyes because you know these are sunglasses so these black parts are actually tinted heavily and I need my glasses to actually see and these aren't real prescription glasses so I'm sort of blind but yep yeah, I get this and the guy that gave me this because he had broken parts and gave them to me for free he had vintage vintage he-man loose almost mint for 35 fucking bucks each complete including that very expensive gray skull he-man that sword and axe that he had that was 35 bucks too it sold within like two minutes and i was going to get it you know but uh it's not like i can rip it out of the guy's hands and get it for me but you know 35 fucking bucks all of them all day long 35 complete well front 35 most of them were 35 I maybe mean, i think one or two were like 40 that's australian so that's like 35 minus a third so that's three nine so it's like 20 dollars us for each one what do we have here gee golly gosh oh i regret buying it no trading it i got it on a trade I don't have the hyenas from the 90s action figure series of Lion King. So I thought, you know, as part of my trade that I traded, I thought I'd get this. I kind of regret it. It's fucking ugly. It's, it's not even in a good way. I am not a Lion King fan, but, you know, I got it because I don't have that, that many hyenas. I would love, you know, the 90s action figure range. I am not a Lion King fan. I don't really care for the show. You know, the series was okay. A little bit. It was a bit weird and goofy. But I thought that the movie was a big filler. I could probably video edit the entire cartoon movie down to maybe 20 minutes. And you should be able to follow along still. I just don't quite enjoy it. Except for the song. This one song of the whole fucking movie I loved. Be prepared. For the death of the king. That's, oh, where's your other leg? It's in the bag. I can't see. Ah, oh, here we go. I got vintage Tila. Vintage Tila. Also for free. From my local guy. I got it because I'm collecting her or... But it's one of the few female characters in Mo2. And I would like to do a Little Mermaid custom. You know, head... And probably a, that weird, crazy-ass armor that she wears, which I got the Origins version of her, uh, with that snake armor chest piece head thing, you know, that thing. So if I actually, you know, found Tila, a 3D skin of Tila with that weird piece, you know, I could 3D sculpt a custom using that sort of thing as a guide. But, you know... If I get 3D printed, I have to put it on a body to see if it all fits and, you know, trial and error. Man, I hopefully I don't have to break this thing open. I got her feet. Her feet. Rubber bands. I hopefully I don't have to break her open. What else? Ah! Oh. Gee, golly gosh, I got a little Pluto. Mickey Mouse is Pluto. Mickey Mouse has a dog. And Goofy is apparently a dog, too. Except for he talks like this. Oh, 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 oh. yuck. Look at it. It's an itty bitty PVC figure. It's not like I've got 50 of them. Probably did. Probably do. What else did I get? Ah! I got this from me, which I didn't have, and it's a bit weird looking, even 
Looking for my Disney collectibles. Let's see. And scroll down. Tila is my favorite. Oh, Gadonia. She's pretty cool. Her body, her body size looks, you know, legit. You know, like based upon a real person. But He-Man's body type and all the, you know, He-Man-like characters like this. There's no way in hell anyone has that body type. Except for maybe Arnold Schwarzenegger when he was like 16 in that movie Pumping Iron. That's not even, you know, unless of course you're a professional bodybuilder or something. You might have a body chiseled like this. Doubt it, but you know, whatever. But I thought, no, this sort of style. But that was, you know, it's not a Barbie, you know, in that sort of skinny sort of ultra-thin anorexic look, I thought this was quite, you know, almost, you know, lifelike. Except for the face. Weird. Whatever's. She was a Latina with that, with that booty. Okay, don't know. I don't know. I'm way over here. See, here it is. Nightmare Before Christmas, Sally. And there was a Jack Skellington at my event that I went to. It was good. Jack Skellington is probably my top five Disney characters that I really enjoyed throughout my childhood and now. Mickey Mouse would be number one. And I am Mickey Mouse. The Canadian Mickey Mouse, I am. Anyone that says otherwise, as I said, they will never find the bodies. Shh. Especially if there's anybody new on the page group or any of these groups, you know, tell them that I am the Canadian Mickey Mouse. <laughs> ah, gosh. Gee, golly, gosh. I like to screw around with some people. Look at that. Sally. It's really weird because that head is so fucking huge. They scaled that head down. To fit the body perfect. Really nice. Now, this toy is a bit special. Now don't go around telling him. You don't know that I got it for him or his wife. But you know. I give it to him to give it to her. But, you know, I got him something. Look at this ugly thing. It's a zelf. A naked self. It's missing wings, but it's pretty. I don't want to say pedo, but because it's naked and it's supposed to be a female, it, it's pretty weird. Now he, now the guy that I'm going to give give this to, he doesn't collect My Little Pony or Zelfs or any of that shit, but his wife enjoys it. I won't say this is for Nathan Lawson. I won't say that. It is, but I won't say that. And you press it, this little thing, it should talk or do something. I don't know. I really just don't care. I think it's electronical. Missing wings. I don't know. I don't care. It's for him or his wife or whatever. Look at the fucking head. Look at that. I don't know what the hell a self is without Googling and cheating. But man. Oh. Did you all see my video I did? I sent him a box of My Little Pony miniature figures, like that big, like miniature My Little Ponies, with like three of these or two, including a mock. I gave him a mock, and I made sure when I sent the box to him, which I paid for, out of pocket, because I'm a nice guy to my friends. I made sure I put his wife's name on the fucking box because he would have thrown it away. It had like 20, at least almost 30 My Little Pony figures, like that. Maybe a little bit bigger, about two inches tall. I gave it to him. He doesn't collect ponies, but his wife sort of enjoys them a little bit. Not too much, but she'll keep like a third of the box and maybe donate to someone. But when I went to his place the other day and picked up my special guest with me. Uh, there was quite a lot of ponies with Nathan Lawson's vintage action figure collection, including E.T. and 
I think some Star Wars stuff that was packed right down below. It was great. I'm such a great friend. I did it all for free. Wow. But Michael Telfar, he cut me a good deal on those ponies. 50 fucking cents each. I go, oh, 50 cents each. I'll get the fucking box. He had a little box stored of my little pony shit. I bought them all. I bought them all for him. Because I said, I'm nice. I'm a nice guy to my frenzy. You know what I'm talking about? Dark crystal. Oh. You know that bought a dark crystal. Hmm. Dark crystal. Don't know. I'm sort of lagging behind. I think again, my internet's really shit. When you guys have your awesome auctions, whether it's Mike Dye's auctions or um, Chris Daniels and Nick Maeda, ah uh, man, the lag on it, it's fucking shit. That's why in some of the bids, I keep on missing out, and I don't know I've missed out until it's too fucking late. I don't know it's been sold or people bidding me up on auctions, and I don't like that because I think I should get everything dirt cheap or free. But apparently there's a lot of collectors out there on these page groups who like to outbid me. I don't know why. Why can't I get my stuff cheap? But here he is, my special guest. This is from Nathan Lawson. He got it for me. Well, no, he got it for himself, but the, uh, in the shipping process, it sort of broke off his card. And then he and I were arguing. We didn't want the leftover cardboard bit, you know, the backing. And I'm like, I don't want it. And he's like, no, you should have it, Jane. I'm like, I don't want it. And he's like, I'll throw it in the garbage. Go, yeah, throw it away. Throw it away. So he he threw it away, I guess. I don't know. We don't collect garbage. Well, not to us, it's not really garbage. It's just, you know, when a toy falls off, it's packaging and cardboard. How do you, how do you store cardboard? But anyway, here's my special guest. know Alice Cooper feed my Frankenstein it's a good song he's a good artist look at it it's so fucking cool it's from the reaction super 7 series Frankenstein it's pretty fucking cool but I still love my jumbo sized Nika ones and Toys R Us exclusive Universal Monster ones how fucking cool is he? For fucking free? Yep, he... In the packaging, he sheared right off. See? I kept that to store for the moment. How cool is that, though? Ethan Lawson is a good guy. Really good guy. Awesome. I love these horror classic characters. Not Freddy, not Jason. Classics, you know. Count Dracula, Frankenstein, Igor, you know. Mummy. But I'm a dirty, cheap ass bastard. I don't want to buy them. Or not buy them. Mm, pay for them. That's the word. I don't want to pay for them. I'm, you know, these are like $30 on Super 7's website. That's US. The stuff that I want is like one out of every so often. You know how much postage it is? Just for one? Just for one? Too fucking expensive. For the one, I could buy like 50 of them. Oh, well. But it's not like I can go to up and say, Super 7, would you mind? Could you do me a favor? Could you just rip these guys right off the fucking cardboard pile of garbage and just sell it to me? Like this? In a, in a box? So I can get like a million of them? And like the same postage? It'd be perfect for me, you know? But, you know, I thought if I did that, I thought I'd be a real... Fuck what? And, you know, I might be a fuckwit, but, you know, I'm really not. But, you know, it's not like I could ask them to do that for me. Because there's a lot of Super Seven stuff that they have that I would love to add to my collection. Not just Frankenstein stuff, there's, uh, you know, that weird Toxic Crusaders. That's it, Toxic Crusaders. There's one or two from that line that I'd love to get. 
and there's like some other weird stuff of Italy done that I would love in my collection. But you know, it's not like I can ask them to rip off the backing and send me it just like this, or make them make them just like this. So someone like me could get like a whole fucking box full of them. But anyways, I showed you off my Disney crap that I got from the um, charity event that I wore. These swell pair of glasses. Ha ha ha. God, I went up like this all day. Oh, yuck. And I even did my goofy voice as well. Which, there ain't no goofy glasses. I tried I, to find them. Nope. None. But, um, you know, whatever's. Burger King Frankie. Man. Nope, Super 7. Super 7 Frankie. Burger King Frankie is really good shit. But most of the time, I do not like clear plastic. And, um, the Burger King Frankenstein ones, Moto Mike had them. Really good stuff. He had them all in one of his auctions. It went to another guy in Australia, Ed Tana. But they were clear. I don't like the clear ones because you can't actually see the detail. Not to say that's bad. It's that like weird, dark, translucent green plastic. And you can't quite see the details on the figure. But at the same time, it's not too clear. So it's like this weird, ugly, dark version of it. Not to say that's bad. Just I didn't quite like it. But otherwise, I would have bought the whole fucking thing. And put it to my collection because that's where it should belong. My collection. And you should see my weird monster collection. It's stuff for the Toon Sylvania, Ghostbusters, because I've got Army Building, I guess. I'm Army Building, Ghostbusters, Frankenstein the Mummy figures now. Not intentionally, but you know. If it's dirt cheap, I'll buy it. If it's free, I'll buy it. That's the kind of person I am. Most of the time. But, you know, I, I do love the stuff that I buy for me. I do buy a few things for other people. And I charge them the same amount that I paid for. That's the kind of person I am. I don't like charging people money for stuff that I'm there for that event. That I find stuff for me. But if it's cheap and affordable, I'll buy it for them. I just sell it for the same price. That's the kind of person I am. I'm a decently nice guy. I just might send you a box of... My Little Pony with Zelfs in it. I might just do that sometime. But you know, it's all for love. The love of toys, action figures, collectibles, and you know, I do like to promote Facebook page groups like the BOD or even the WWT toy groups like this. But I really don't do it unless people ask me, you know. When I first did the BOD, um, Netflix, the fake Netflix videos that I did for the BOD, I did that because some guy was saying, you know, how cool it would be if the BOD got its own Netflix series. And I'm like, oh, that is such a good idea. That should have been my idea. So I quickly had to uh, do that. So I did. It ended up being pretty fucking good. It, I, I must admit, I surprised myself. But I'll just quickly wrap up. I'm sure one of you uh, yucking people might want to get Undoing the Light. That's my Frankenstein. Uh, where's my Disney? My regrettable Lion King Hyena from that crappy Lion Force series. God, that's fucking ugly. I regret getting it so much. Show it was like only a dollar. But, you know. <sighs> fuck it. Okay. Not to say that, you know, it's not good, but at the same time, it's not really that great. Vintage Beast Man! That soon might be a weird Disney, the Beast, from Disney's Being the Beast custom He-Man thing. Later on, once I've got a few that I want to 3D print. I can't see. Tila! Pretty good figure. It really is. It's actually more detailed than most of the other Motu. And Raja. Or Raj. Raj, Raja, I don't know. I'm not good with names. I'm pretty stupid when it comes to remembering names. 
and that's the head joint it just goes around and around it's actually quite chunky with that head joint weird because I really thought at one stage that this was a, a KO of Battle Cat because it's sort of in that weird pose but it's just a bit too short oh well whatever but you know maybe I would love to get that 3D scanned so I can make a Battle Cat custom armor to fit for that with my sculpting 3D skills mm. Hello, Scene. How are you doing? Or is it Sean? I don't know. Is it Sean or Scene? I don't know. I'm stupid that way. Ha ha ha! I waited for you. And I waited until you got off your live. Because, you know, I'm that kind of guy. So I waited. And I spoke to you. And I saw some toys you were selling. And, yeah. I'm just about to hit on off. Eh? You have a swell day, everyone on this page who's watching. I hope you all have a swell day and a good week, and I'll see you real soon. <laughs> <laughs>